What's up, everybody? It's a beautiful Saturday today, and it looks like we got a leaked image from a bunch of Vietnamese message board and Facebook groups in relation to a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom product that we knew about for a while now. We had, obviously, the speculation of the original Cheetor Deluxe toy of what the repaints would be, and some of the obvious conclusions just due to the history of it and even getting masterpieces and stuff like that. Then, of course, we saw the listings from JT Prime 17, and then we saw the box art directly from Hasbro themselves with their website. So let's talk about now this first look image that we have today of Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Shadow Panther, a redeco and retool of the Kingdom Deluxe Class Cheetor. Now, this isn't of something of no surprise. We shouldn't be surprised that this, this character is existing. Again, like I said before, it's been done. You know, they did the Black Cheetor repaint all those years ago. Shadow Panther technically, technically, is one of the first, if not the first, Black Evil repaint. Before that, that idea didn't really exist. Uh, became popularized with Black Convoy, but it really was Shadow Panther that was the first one to really do that. Uh, all the way back in, what was it, 97, 98, with Beast Wars. So, I remember back in the day when this news dropped, back in the early days of the internet, everyone lost their minds. Man, I wanted that figure. And we got it. And even Hasbro back then, they recognized the demand and they put it on Hasbro's toy shop back in the day in 96, 97, 98 to pick it up. You could tell the variant between the two of the Hasbro toy shop one and the uh, Japanese one by a sticker that's on the front of the Japanese box. Anyways, a little bit of a history lesson there. So Shadow Panther here of this image that we saw, there's no surprises really in terms of the paint deco rollout and how it is. I mean... You take the old gang molding of the old Cheetor toy from 95, 96, and Shadow Panther in 97, 98 had the same kind of gang molding matching, and the same thing exists here even with this Modern Kingdom version. So that's pretty cool. They match up the colors pretty well. Uh, the big thing that everyone pointed out is the mutant head being the, the head sculpt that's used this time around. You have only one choice of a head, and it's the mutant head. I think that's an interesting choice. Uh, historically, the character has been kind of depicted since the masterpiece version of having the mutant head as a, a kind of a, a focus point because the original Cheetor masterpiece didn't have the mutant head when they did the shadow panther repaint they included the mutant head so it was like okay that's cool so kind of you know giving that different twist on an evil decepticon potentially ravage potentially ravages son depending on which continuity uh, of the character so I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, people are pointing out here, oh, he comes with two tail weapons. I think that that's just probably a mistake from the factory. A lot of times when people steal these things off the assembly line, they just kind of have whatever they have with them. Um, probably the the Shadow Panther, Cheetor, whatever you want to call it, that mold, when it's on the runners in the factory, it might have two tails with it. So that's probably more a case of that, if anything else. Maybe they have two on the runner because sometimes one of the tails get damaged when they're released and taken off of the runners. Who knows? I'm not in the factory. I don't know really what's going on. But the fact of the matter is, is that it has two, it has two like, I guess we'll call it the whip tail sword kind of thing going on. I think it just actually comes at one. It's just the factory stolen images here um, just to pick it with two because of what was found. But I dig it. I think it was really good. I mean, look, guys, at the end of the day, a black repaint of 90% of Transformers are always going to look spectacular. Uh, the Mutant Head is a really big draw, especially, too, for customizers, because now people are going to probably want to pick it up just to get that Mutant Head so they can make a Cheetor, so they can have Mutant Head Cheetor or any other variations of it. Um, but I dig it a lot. I think it looks really good, and it probably adds credence also to the possibility because supposedly we're going to be getting a golden disc, you know, battle through time, whatever that version. There's going to be another Tigatron toy we're going to be getting at some point uh, that isn't the traditional colors that we saw already. And the rumor is, is that it's going to be done in the orange color scheme and it's going to have the mutant head. Because we've seen from leaked images from the factories that there is a Tigatron Voyager mold with a mutant head. So... It shows that because of that potential and that existing, 
that we might see something in the future where probably this mutant head that we see here will also be upscaled and put on an orange Tigatron. So that's pretty hype. It's pretty cool. I dig this a lot. Um, definitely going to be interested in picking up this guy again. I have every version of this character. I think I did... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I did a video many years ago on my Proto Retro channel where... I talked about the history of black repaints. I think it was with a black animated Rodimus figure. And I talked about Shadow Panther briefly about his history and how he is the first, the first evil black repaint. I mean, technically, technically the first ever black repaint is Skywarp, technically, technically. But uh, it was already a repaint of an already evil character in Starscream. So the first ever black evil repaint. We're talking uh, Shadow Panther. Anyways. Pretty hype stuff. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about this guy? I know I am. Again, I just dig it a lot. Again, black repaints are always cool. Today's Saturday also. So, heavy reminder, we got a live stream tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific. So, be sure to come down, hang out, talk Transformers, do some super chats, and uh, we'll recap the news this week. It was a quiet news week, but we still have some stuff we got to talk about, some updates here and there. And uh, we'll just hang out and talk Transformers and enjoy the Saturday night main event.